shit. And things were getting spicy. I was gonna say, Zam. Zam, boy. Ugh, I don't know. But like, after her fang song, she was... Oh, fucking hell, mate. Why are emotions so fucking difficult, man? As I wait at the bus stop, I decide to break down everything that just happened. We didn't study at all. Well, maybe music, I guess. Raptor Jesus. Rip Mr. Jingo is a shit teacher compared to her. But really, all I can think about is how she, how she was after that song. I saw something... 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 How do I fucking contextualize it? In that moment, I thought I knew. Holding her in my arms. Attacks? She attacks rare. Hey, I'm out earlier. Thanks. For, like hanging out. And sorry about Dad. There was a pause. The animated ellipses showing Fang was writing something longer. About that song, I want to work on some lyrics for it. So, like, how about we hang out again and write some? I consider my response thoroughly. Sure. Another session like that? I think of Fang, standing behind me, guiding my hands again. My cheeks grew warm as I recalled the feeling of her hands over mine. Ah, oh, fuck. How I wonder, how does she feel about me? It's like that Mario 64 minigame on the DS. I mean, she's shown me so much of her now. And all the cheek nuzzling. Just like Nazer and Naomi. What? Okay. Well, when did that happen? Maybe. Just maybe. Dan Link Slaytar. I'm looking over my final grades for this semester. My science score is barely passing. I want to say it's because of Fang and my study sessions. Every time we would try to study, it would always become jam sessions or lyric writing. But I wouldn't have it any other way. Spending more and more time with her was fun. And seeing this side of her, it makes me feel so lightheaded, like I'm floating on clouds. Although the sheet rope escapes from Fang's dad, we're starting to leave serious rug burns on my palms. As a bonus, I aced music class. The midterms was a demonstration. And the fact I was able to play guitar, even shittily, was enough. Fang seemed proud of that fact, that I was able to play well enough to get a passing grade. Or rather proud of herself that she was that good of a music teacher. Her way of congratulating me was to hip check me right into my locker, only to apologize while laughing her ass off. Thanks, I appreciate it. Actually, the whole ordeal made me remem remember I had this old music program <laughs> installed on my computer. It's incredibly outdated, but free is free. Several hours of decade-old tutorials later, I finally start cobbling together a loosely musical-sounding rhythm. I couldn't find a reverb option, so I just overlaid the same instruments with a lower volume where I wanted it. People probably won't notice. But what will An Anthony Fantego say? Oh, yeah. Damn. Damn, boy. Damn, boy, he's dead! 
I'm starting to get why Fang likes doing this sort of thing. It's sort of like just the act of creating something and being able to say, I made this. Yeah. It's, it's good, man. It's good. Exporting the file and uploading it to a music site, I await my audience to start amassing before me. <laughs> I already have a comment. I hope it's positive. Never make anything again, ever. Ah, just a day in the life of an under underappreciated artist. Sigh. End of midterms means the start of a new the new quarter. Halfway through the semester, and things have been going pretty good. I didn't completely fuck up so far, and I think the rest of the band is starting to warm up to me. <clears throat> Especially Fang. In fact, we've been hanging out more in the auditorium after school. Instead of band practice, we've been making use of that repaired projector. Watching shitty movies and playing games on Reed's X Rocks. Why are you so deep in thought, Annan? The Mandarin Mantrian Trian roofs me away from my monologue. During homeroom, Spears comes came on the announcement to declare an assembly for the senior class. Or in his other words, asses in those seats now. Naomi has taken the opportunity to walk with me through the hallways. What do you want? So I heard you and Fang went on another date the other day. Uh, of course you did. It wasn't a date. We were just hanging out. Just kicking... Who <laughs> reads ass in Rock Ring 3? Please give him <laughs> bone armor. Like, that, that has to be Dark Souls. Like, with fucking invasions and shit. You do anything fun with Nazer lately? Oh, my Nazer just had another track meet. That always works. His high jump form is so perfect. And he looks so dazzling in his track and field uniform. And his physique, oh my god. I tune her out as she covers her profusely red nose. The less I can think of Nazar's body, the better. Here we have, and here we have it, boys. The moment of truth. <laughs> oh, God. We get to the auditorium once again, and I look to the back row to find our spot. Empty? Over here. Fang and Trish are sitting in the front row. Next to them is Re... Fucking gnats. Next to them is Reed huddling behind a cart with the projector he, he's, he'd fix on it, messing with the cords. What's the deal? Why are we sitting in the front of us all of a sudden? You know that one scene in The Magnificent Seven where that one guy talks about how he's able to catch all three flies in the palm of his hand? I wish I was able to do that. Uh, Spears asked me to man the projector. First I was like, say what? But then I was like, yeah man, sure. So here I am, doing everything I can, holding on to what I am. I see. Take my seat next to Fang. They say why we're here yet? Nope. Since we're seniors, it, it's probably some other stupid pep talk about our futures. I bet it's a fundraiser. I'm like good at selling things and stuff. I'm sure. Actually, I've been meaning to ask. What exactly is Carf? You don't know, man? Carf and all. The wildest stuff a dino can get. Really now. It was used in war by skinnies a while back. It's a deadly tranquilizing agent. It's only deadly when you make it wrong, man. But yeah, it's great stuff if you know how to do it. 
Eh, Fang, have you ever tried any of this so-called fentanyl? Once. Woke up hanging upside down from a tree with Naomi's clothes on, hugging a fake skeleton. See, when I do it, it just makes me a bit dizzy for a few hours. Huh, can I see some? Absolutely not. No. Why, why ever not? That stuff's a hundred times more powerful than horse tranquilizer. It'll, it'll melt your skin. Make your heart burst. I heard a human tried it once and exploded twice. I bet. Yeah, sure. You just don't want to share. The last of the seniors trickle in and take seats near the near the front. Eventually, Spears takes the stage. He pauses to make sure everyone's covering their ears before beginning. <laughs> He's gonna make your eardrums burst, boy. Like that one scene in JoJo. <laughs> Alright! As you all know, graduation is coming up soon. We're gonna go over the whole fucking process. But first... The student council has a brief presentation to give on the subject. Floor's all yours, Stuco. Oh, student council. That's yeah, short. Uh. Spears gestures his hands towards Naomi and Nazar, who show up from behind the stage curtains. The Chiffron <laughs> Czar, Sir, Sir, Zina, Sarina begins a wireless brings a wireless microphone to her snout. She begins reciting a well rehearsed speech in her usual snooty <laughs> matter. More plastic than person, they say. Oh, thank you, Principal Spears. The projector comes alive, displaying a basic slideshow title card reading. Reed, how do you know when to move it forward? It's when she crosses her fingers. Check it out. <clears throat> now this is a very important turning light r point in your life. You, I uh, got this. It's one of these. Uh, I need a nap. As soon as, soon as I closed my eyes, I felt a malevolent <laughs> force looming before me. Somehow, I felt like opening my eyes was a bad idea. But keeping them closed was an even worse one. At least there's cute little designs on the slides. <laughs> Jesus. There's a little penguin with a graduation cap. There's a, there's a school mascot in a party hat. Even has a, has a fogged up window. Oh. <laughs> Uh, wow. A lineup of various graduates with a token human at the end for di diversity, which is our strength, you know. Typical. There's some scientists and engineers holding hands, and none of them are human. Hang in there, baby. <laughs> There's a triceratops holding on to a branch with the text, Hang in there, baby. And there's me two years ago, when I photoshopped myself with an anime girl and posted it on Facebook for some reason. <laughs> I love that face. What the fuck? I didn't know Anon was cringe. I thought he was based. How come his sleeves aren't rolled up? <laughs> uh... <laughs> What the fuck? How? Why? The world stopped turning, and no one around me is moving, and there's no sound at all. Why is that there? How? I deleted everything. Everything! So why the fuck is it here? My body feels like stone as I try to turn, to see if anyone else is seeing this. 
In the end, I can't bring myself to move at all. It doesn't matter. I already feel their endless gazes. I feel lightheaded. There's what feels like a lump in, of lead in the pit of my stomach. There's dark spots forming in my sight. When I finally breathe again, the world restarts. The laughter hits first. A monstrous guffaw from behind that's joined by every other senior in the room. Re-change the slide! Change it now! I am! No, no, God, not more cringe! More pictures. So many more pictures. Each one more and more embarrassing than the last. Oh, God! Shit! Oh, <laughs> his vision is wobbling. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shit! He's so cringe! There's a loud crash right next to me, and the entire room becomes black. Welcome to Skyrim, Cringe Edition. Did I faint? Is this real life? Is this just fantasy? Like, the, like that one really, really old meme I saw. Where it is a, f <laughs> where it takes the lyrics literally, <laughs> and it has a fantasy, a sea of fanta. <laughs> oh lord. And still awake. Fuck. I'm just on the, on the floor like this, just like oh god, oh cringe, so much cringe. I can't handle it. The light comes back on and my eyes uh, my eyes burn. The projector is on the floor, lens scattered all over the floor. Aren't you able to like turn it or something? <laughs> or would it No, it would still show on the wall on the side, never mind. Or you could just unplug it. Whatever. The laughter is even louder now. Reed, how the fuck did this happen? I just used the USB, Trish said. Trish? Why would Trish... Trish was in her inner seat. In the corner of my eye, I notice someone running for the entrance. It's Trish. She's making a mad sprint for the door. Stop her! She continues dashing towards the exit. And right in the spear's hand. Literally. His baseball mitt of a hand covers the fucking bitch. Covers her face entirely. <laughs> it's like that one picture people post of, like, of that small child, uh, which, I'm pretty, which is probably a picture I shouldn't be laughing at because it's hor horrible. But <laughs> I just. Oh god, just but imagining Trish like that. Uh. <laughs> I hope someone drew that. I might, if nobody else did. Even lifts her up by her face with one hand. What the fuck? All of you get your asses back to class. Spears motions for me to follow him, but I feel paralyzed by everything that just happened. I bury my face in my hands, by my, fa my face when I have no face. I think I just got the joke. I bury my face in my hands and just groan. It's, it's rock bottom all over again. Fang tugs at my arm, trying to get me to follow. I just can't find the energy to move for anything right now. Fang frantically looks around at the hysterical crowd, trying to come up with something. Eventually, I feel Fang put her arm over my shoulder as she tries to get me to stand. She drapes her wing across my back, creating a barrier between me and everyone else. 
Without saying a word, she leads me out of, out of a side door towards the principal's office. What the fuck just happened? Hey, uh, how is this happening to me? So is this what happened to rock, at rock bottom? Or did I already know that before? I forget. I don't know. <laughs> uh, whatever. How is this happening? How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. You, you gonna be all right, fam? How did Trish find those dumb pictures? Cringe threads or something else, let me tell you. Every once in a while, I'm sure Venom thinks back to it. <laughs> Venom and Metal Griffin, they, they just, they just think back to that shit every once in a while when they're just lying in bed going, Ugh. Oh, 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 oh God! L look, don't listen to those pricks. Was Reed in on it? All of them, dumbasses. He couldn't be. What would he gain from something like this? Eh, yeah, this'll all blow over. What would Trish gain from something like this? Like none of them talk about our shitty concert. I know she doesn't like me, but. But this, but that was like a fucking month ago. And that was like a fucking month ago. Eh, okay. This is fucked up. I'm going to rip her stupid horns off and give her a couple new holes to breathe with. It'll all be good, Adam. I think Fang's dad had a thing going on with the golf clubs. <laughs> you can take her horn and and sand it down and have it be f no you can turn it t turn it around and stick it in the ground <laughs> and use it as the thing for the golf ball see if she, she he can give me a couple pointers just need some time to forget it happened the, the squeak of sneakers catches my attention and I turn to see Reed approaching us down the hall Reed, I thought Spears sent everyone back to class. Can't just sit in class while all my hombres are going through some pretty heavy stuff, you know. Got something I need to get off my chest anyways. What? Bit busy dealing with being doxxed here. Wait. Get what off your chest? Were you in on it? Fang's questioning glare get, makes Reed shudder. <laughs> Wait, no. Don't get the wrong idea, man. Reed, how did this happen? No, it went more like... I was getting the projector set up set up earlier, right? Something was wrong with the lens and I didn't have enough time. So I asked Trish to go get the thing from Naomi. I guess she must have, like, changed the slides before giving it to me. And you didn't think to check? Reed deflates. Damn it, Reed. Look, man, Trish isn't a bad person. Bitch sure has a, has a funny way of showing it. Whoa. Dude, I know you're still hurting from what she did, but like... Yeah, but what could possibly have... What could have possibly given that away? Bro, let me finish. Reed's raised voice takes the wind out of my lungs. That's the first time I think I've ever heard him raise his voice. Trish messed up pretty bad, bro, but, like, massively, hugely messed up. Not gonna argue with that. She abused my trust, too, dude. When she gave me that the presentation from Naomi, I didn't think she'd do anything like that. But did you ever consider why? Because she's a two-bit cunt? Reed sighs again with a noticeable lack of smoke surrounding him. Dude, you and Trish have always been at each other's throats. But, <laughs> like, why even? I open my mouth to answer, but can't find the w words. Or the reason. Did you ever stop to consider why Trish always gives you a hard time? Not really. Another sigh, this time with an expectant look from, look from Reed. 
Did you ever even try, bro? Ugh. No. And that's the problem, dude. Reed has a pained expression on his face. And a quick glance shows Fang is e Fangs is even worse. Like, I know it sucks. Trish tricked me and all, too. And that hurts, you know? But may maybe try and think why Trish did this. All right, bro. Uh... I refuse to accept that I had any part to play in this debacle other than being the victim. Let me let me tell ya. Uh, uh, Trish can still burn in hell for all I care. Three months! Three months from gra graduation and you pull a stunt like this? Spears' stern voice grilling <laughs> Trish in his office rips me from my thoughts. Good, she deserves it. I have a mind to have campus security escort you out of here and send you to Grief City Continuation. Fang and Reed both hiss at that. What the fuck does that mean? You have five minutes to explain why I shouldn't do that right now. I couldn't hear Trisha's full response through the door, but she was obviously crying. After what she did? Fang leaned in, trying to listen through the door to hear what the bitch was saying. Because of her arms, I was pulled closer too. I heard the trollops whimpering and wanted nothing more than to really make her cry. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. All his fault. My fault. I did fucking nothing to that purple pole smoker. Smoker. <laughs> Didn't know what else I could do. Not fucking show half the school the cringiest thing I've ever done and commit to what amounts to character assassination. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll do something different. Some asshole from the sticks. I'll show that cunt some fucking sticks. Whew. Driving Fang away. What? What does Fang have to do with any of this? She wasn't the one bitching about every damn thing I do. I glance over to Fang, whose expression seems even worse now. Looking at her this way makes a part of me feel even shittier. Like I did cause this. Fuck Trish, though. She's been an ass to me from, from the beginning. Adam, will you please step into my office? Spears' voice shocks m me from my eavesdropping. What am I supposed to say to Trish? Fang gives a re me a... Fang tries to give a reassuring smile, but it's so fragile. Like this is all her fault and not that backstabbing bitch. Reed gives a silent nod. No thumbs up this time. I enter Spears' office and my eyes are immediately drawn to Trish, sitting in front of his desk, surrounded by crumpled up tissues. Trish, is there some, anything you would like to tell Annan? I've never seen her like this. It's all your fault. Who are you to come here and take Fang away? You're just some nobody from the middle of nowhere who only cares about yourself. I helped pull Fang out of her shell and made her a social pariah in the process. Oh, was that my inner monologue thinking about that? <laughs> that, that makes sense now. My band was doing great before you came here. I set up the only successful show... Uh, that is his monologue. I set up the only successful show you ever played. And then you show up and start manipulating everyone. Because you're a selfish control freak. Everything has to revolve around you. Jesus. Fang and Rita and me were going to make it to the top. But you stole everything from me because you didn't understand us. No one understands us. Trish is cut off by a horrid sob. 
her head falling into her hands and new tears spilling from her eyes. Raptor Jesus on his cross of rock, that's a lot to unpack. It's like you didn't even try to understand me either, you know. And is there anything you'd, you want to add? Like how she's not worth the oxygen? But if this really is all, all about Fang, I guess I'll talk. I turn to the pitiable punk rock, purple punk rocker. You're not the only person in the world. Maybe, re maybe Reed was on something. I, I think I finally get it. Look, Trish, maybe we didn't start off right. And yeah, I can be an asshole. She looks up at me, surprise written on her teary-eyed face. I didn't mean to drive you and Fang apart or anything. I just want to be Fang's friend. But after what you fucking did, fucking digging up my past, airing it to every senior, and all for Fang, she's outside the door thinking this is all her fault. That got a response from Trish. Her head dipped down, and her fingers curled into the hem of her hoodie. Maybe it's your fault for being such a bitch. Maybe it's mine. I don't know. But it sure as shit isn't Fang's. After another choke sob racked her body, and the tears started anew. I'm sorry for being a poor friend to you, but after what you did, I don't know if I can forgive that. Spears nods in approval, a fatherly grin stretching his cheeks. That was well said, and son, you've come a long way since your first day. You can leave. Take the rest of the day if you need it. I rise from my chair and make it for the door. But I'm sought by what Trish just muttered. It's my fault. I'm sorry. You should tell that to Fang. Right before I clamp my hand on the doorknob, Spears speaks up. Oh, and Annan, don't think I didn't notice. Uh-oh. I slowly turn back to him. Your waifu is trash, and your taste is shit. I'm very disappointed, son. Son, I am disappointed. My door is always open, so I can share some quality anime. I open the door to see Fang again. Expression complex, leaning against the door's frame. Reed has taken my place at beside her with a comforting arm around her shoulder. If this was any other situation, I might have felt a bit jealous. Uh, hey. A heavy sigh escapes my lips. Hey, doing okay, bro? I'd frankly like to just disappear right now. I think I'll just go home. I can uh, ditch if you need me to come with. Fang looks at the door to Spear, Spear's room for a bit, then back to me. Trish is probably having to call her parents right now. Fang probably heard everything in the office. You know what? I think I'll wait. You worried about her too? Fang turns her head down to her shoes. How could I not, t not tell something like this was happening? You know it's not your fault. Doesn't mean I don't feel guilty about it. She picks her head up to look me in the eye. We should leave. You probably don't want to see her when she gets out. Actually, I think we should wait. Looks like you have something to say to her. Well, yeah, but... There's something else I wanted to tell her, too. There is? There is. You sure you should be talking to her when you're still this upset? It's nothing bad, promise. It's a good call, dude. You can go first. Fang gives a small nod, and the three of us slide down the wall into sitting positions. <clears throat> the minutes pass. What do I even say to her? I'm not entirely sure either. Rita walk awkwardly toys with his tail in silence, suddenly a lot less contemplative than before. The clasped hands around my knees start to leave red marks on, e on each other. I can't find the energy to shift them. Aeons later, Trish emerges from the office. 
Their tears have become shiny trails, re reflecting the sterile light of the hallway. Hesitantly, Fang gets up to speak with her. That makes one of us. For a while, the two just stare at each other. Eventually, why? Why the fuck did you do this, Annan? Do, do you actually think I'd be okay with this? Annan is just as much my friend as you, you or Reed. That was something those douchebag. That was something those douchebags who make fun of our band would do. I thought he was a bad influence on you, the band. Everything is changing, Fang, and I don't like it. All because of Annan. Then why didn't you just fucking talk to us? Annan isn't some asshole trying to rip everything apart. I know what you told me, Fang, but like, but you deserve better. He's not. I catch Trish throwing a glance my way as she cuts herself off. Look, I'm sorry, Fang. Oh, I'm just trying to look out for you. Look out for me. I can make my own decisions, Trish. Fang sighs and rubs her temples. I'm taking a break from the band. I watch as Trish, Trish's entire world, shatters before her eyes. Reed's lack of reaction tells me they discussed this while I was in Spears' office. What? I need time to think. Fang, Fang, wait. Bye. Fang turns away from Trish and starts walking away. I'll wait by the exit while you talk. Reed gets up as he and he passes as she passes by and begins to follow, giving me a thumbs up. Give you some privacy, amigo. Uh, and now it's just the two of us. I get up from my spot on the floor, pins and needles from my in my legs, making it more difficult. Now what do you want? I fucked up too. That catches her off guard. This is my fault too, you know. I played a stupid game with this instead of manning up and just talking about it. I stone the fuck up and finally admit, admit it to the world and my and myself. I like Fang, and I like her, and I, and I know that's what you're afraid of. I was never out to break anything up. I just like Fang. I want to help her. I never wanted to hurt anyone. Trisha's eyes glaze over and stare at something in the distance, as if all her first fear, worst fears came true. I guess in a way they did today. I'm done, Trish. I'm not going to fight with you over this. I won't fuck with you, and you won't fuck with me. I'm going home. I turn away from Trish as she buries her head in her hands again. Part of me wonders if she'll use that against me, but right now it just feels good to get it out of my system. As I begin looking for Fang, Reed stops me in the hallway. Made the rat call tucking it out. Trust me, dude. Reed shuffles his feet a bit and scratches his neck. Gonna give you a bit of space after dealing with that. Time to think things over, you know? Suddenly, he leans in and lowers his voice. You should tell them, bro. With a cryptic wink, he rushes off towards Trish, probably to give her the same kind of therapy. I throw a quick glance to s back to see him pull in Trish for a hug. His turn to deal with her now. What did he mean by tell them? Tell them what? Does Reed? How did he? So much for privacy. <laughs> I shake the thought from my mind and head into the in the direction Fang went. They can wait. I catch up to Fang near the front of the school as I mentally prepare myself for what's coming. Time for the walk of shame. As I make my way through the hall, I do my best to ignore the passing years from teens I don't even know. I guess it's already spread to the lower years too. <clears throat> Fucking light speed capable rumor mill. Hey, do the Naruto run! <laughs> like in Fortnite! Look at the pathetic weeb. How's your 2D girlfriend, Annan? Hey, Annan, need to borrow a jar? <laughs> you get the 
the fucking cum drawer. Do it now. Your waifu is great and I love her. Not helping, Stella. I keep my head down, avoiding, avoiding the looks from them all. Shouldering open the door, I'm blinded by the morning sun's glare. Within an hour, I've fallen back to square one. Is it too late to transfer to another school? Bang steps to the stairs, phone in hand. Seven rings in hand. <laughs> I can call us a taxi or something, man. I nod at that. Moving for the stairs. Hey, loser, think fast! I turn towards the voice, and the world slows down. My field of vision is filled with a Zoda can, and I freeze up like a deer in hell lots. <laughs> uh, do a Matrix jo dodge. Look at that Zoda can! Look! <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna dodge. The can smacks me in the forehead while I was mid-stride, and I shift my footing to try and regain balance. Except my foot catches up on the edge of the stair lip and slips. Oh. Well, I actually thinking about him falling down the... Just tripping and falling down the stairs, like, actually thinking about it, just, oh god. That, that ain't good. Ugh. Ugh. Ouch. Oh, God. Oh, fuck, we need to split before the caveman gets here. Anna, my lungs feel like they're on fire. I think my feet touch the back of my head. I feel myself... I peel myself from around the bullard, feeling every bone in my body creak painfully. Oh, fuck. I mean, seriously, look at those stairs. God damn. Oh. Oh, fuck. Holy shit, you're alive. Am I? Oh. Nothing seems to be broken, but I, I've been in worse. Honestly, my ego's more injured, injured than I am. I don't think that's the truth. Can you walk? Yeah, yeah, sure. This is nothing compared to field day back at my old school. I t try taking a step and my knee involuntarily twists in a direction it's not supposed to. Suddenly, I'm doing the Seth MacFarlane pose again. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Let me, let me help you up. Oh. Look at that. She tucks her arms around my shoulder and pulls me to my feet again. God damn. Let's get just get to the bench over there. The taxi will be here in like five minutes. Using Fang as a second foot, I eventually make it to the bench. I still can't bend either leg, so I just sort of sort of splay against the sidewalk. Fang sits on the other end and starts digging through her pockets. I think I heard somewhere that nicotine relieves a bit of pain. I could use a smoke right about now. Fang retrieves one of the cigarettes from the crumpled pack and sparks it to life with her pink lighter. She takes the first draw and then hands it to me. I, un I inhale slowly, my chest aching as my lungs fill with wonderfully numbing, numbing nicotine. The minty taste and the cool sensation settling over my skin does help to relax my painfully tense muscles. Before I know it, the cigarette in my fingers is nothing but a smoldering filter. Looks like our ride's here. 
A grimy beater of a taxi pulls up to the curb, driven by an equally grimy Velociraptor. Clearly one of the three left operating in the city. Fang helps me to my feet and over to the cab, opening the door so I can shamble in. I still don't know what the fuck is up with this dude. Shit kid, you look like you got into a fight with a steamroller and lost. Uh, hmm. Dio sure packs a punch. Now where are you kids heading on a school day? Maybe the hospital? A home. Sure thing, kid. Got the address. 237 South S Saint South Street Saint South Saint Hammond Street. Okay. The driver sucks in a breath through his teeth. Skin row, eh? Well, I can take you as far as the edge of the neighborhood, deal? Yeah, whatever, just take me home, man. The cab speeds off away from the school. I still can't believe that Trish would do something like that. The cab driver lets out a laugh. You got your ass handed to you by a girl, didn't you? I don't bother responding while Fang kicks the back of the seat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't want to tip much anyways. <laughs> what? Why doesn't the driver want to drive all the way to your place? Can't be that bad, right? Well, I've seen a couple Skid Row videos on YouTube and... I just... Can't be that bad, right? Uh, that reminds me. Hold this for me. I toss my pocket knife into Fang's lap. She looks at me with a nervous smile like she expects a punchline. Uh, oh, joking, <laughs> kinda, uh, ha, 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 ha. I ha, 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 I haven't needed to shift someone yet, talking hurts, breathing too, every breath I, each breath I take feels like my ribs are gonna, gonna shatter, Fang must have noticed since she kept silent after that, alrighty, end of the line, that'll be 15 bucks even, there's still a few blocks we gotta walk. I manage to limp out of the car and Fang uh, drops a few crumpled bills in her seat and slams the door behind her. The car peels out and disappears around the corner. Well, no place to go but home. Wait, you still can't walk, right? I can probably, ma I can probably make it a good 50 yards. Hang on, give me your shoulder. Now, don't worry about... Ignoring my pro protest, Fang wraps my arm around her back for support. Where are we going? Uh, first turn is a ride up here. Wait, Fang is coming over to my place? Alone? Fang is coming over to my place? <laughs> Fang is coming over to my place? I don't want her to see how I live. Oh, please don't tell anybody how I live. Please don't tell anyone how I live. Oh, uh, crap! Did I leave Saturni on? Are they moaning in a, in a? Are they groping each other in a bath scene or something? I hope not. <laughs> uh. Hang on, let me get my key. I awkwardly fish around for it in my pocket, hand weighed down by some cheap first aid stuff from the nearby liquor store. This... shut up. Open the door. I finally manage to find my key wedged between my leg and wallet. Fang takes the key from me and opens the door before I can think to throw it out the broken window nearby. Well, no turning back now. Welcome to Casa del Shitho. Occupancy and a miserable weeb. Raptor Jesus threw, throw me, threw me a bone at least. There's no dirty dishes stacked in the sink. The trash is mostly empty save for a discarded box of cereal. And my monitor is not displaying something Saturnia related. Nip nip. 
The entrance isn't big enough for both Fang and I, so I leave her supporting shoulder and limp my, limp my way to the si twin-sized mattress on the floor. It's so tempting to just drop face first like the usual, but I don't think I'd survive the shock of the fall. Nice place. You don't have to stay. I just want to curl up in bed and sleep my sorrows away. And it's 10 in the morning. And? And you're fucking hurt. At least let me try to patch you up. You don't. Fang's glare makes my mouth click shut. Fang sets the bag of ice packs, icy hot, and saber balm on my computer desk when something catches her eye. Is that the phone Roomba you bought a while back? You actually kept that thing? Fang is step, st standing over the shoebox I've been using to hold my pet. I put in a put in a few wooden blocks for it to bump around. Uh, yeah. Can you go ahead and feed him for me? With this box of cornflakes? Yeah, two or three will do. And you taped your railgun to the top of it. If you look close, I gave him angry eyebrows, too. Why? Mom never let me have a pet, and he's cute. Eh? Don't make fun of Metal Gear Rainbow, or else he'll shoot you. He's armed with tiny, angry marine munitions. Fang crumples up some of the cornflakes and pours the crumbs into Ray's box. I can hear it happily ingesting breakfast from my bed. You're such a dweeb, Annan. There's no heat in her words. Fang turns to me, the small tub of disgusting green stuff in hand. Alright, let me see where you're hurt. No way in fuck. Now? Shit, when, when did Fang learn the panted mom glare? Take off your shirt. Wait, what? Take it off or I'll cut you, cut it off with your knife. Fine. I step into my tiny shower stall and turn on the water. And we have the buzzing lights. The shower head sputters before it starts weakly spraying lukewarm water. The temperature of the water doesn't help the tension in my muscles, or the bruise, bruises marring my skin. My bruised blue nana. I stretched around and see massive blotches of purple and black splattered across my torso. Oh god. <laughs> Each contusion is hot to the touch under my fingers, and the pain is intense. The worst is across my chest, where the bollard hit me. Oh, is that the the railway, or is that like the corner of the step? That, ugh. I eventually get finished examining my wicked wounds and step out of the bathroom. Fang is on her phone doing Raptor Jesus knows what. Fang then pats the bed. Come here. I walk over and lie down on my stomach. <laughs> Jesus, that's bad. I then felt a, a cold cream and soft touch on my back, along with a massive jolt of pain. Fuck! Shit, yeah, sorry, are you okay? Yeah, just didn't expect it to hurt that bad. Just try to relax. I sigh and try my hardest not to freak out when she touches me. She eventually finds a sweet spot of pleasure, pressure to apply. It still hurts a little, little but, but it doesn't cause me to wince. Her hands are soft. 
I find myself relaxing under Fang's ministrations. Starting to feel better now? I nod. My eyes feel heavy as the ointment begins to warm up, drawing away tension from my aching muscles. I can make out a steady thumping on my bed. My senses fade more until all I'm aware of is Fang's fingers tracing circles over my sore back and the sound of thumping. I wonder what that is. Fang's hands slow to stop and eventually pull away, leaving me disappointed. The bed shifts. Annan, there's something in her voice, but I can't discern it. Uh, I need to do the front. Uh, oh, <laughs> that, that, that's a reaction image right there. Okay then. I roll over onto my back and find myself face to beak with her. Dangerously close. I can feel her breath on my lips and I blush. It never even occurred to me that I could apply the ointment on myself. I want it, want to look aside. Turn my face away to hide the growing blush. But I can't. I'm entranced looking into Fang's warm amber eyes. Millions of words flash through my head as I try to find something to say. Fang is looking right back. Eyes that seem to glow with what little sunlight filling the room stared into mine. I wonder. I hope. Do you like me, Fang? I mumbled to myself, like an idiot. Uh, Adam? I'm pulled out of my thoughts by her voice. Fang's blushing heavily too, now, and her tail is positively hammering away at my bed. Wait. Oh, fuck. Am I, am I stupid? Did I? Uh, oh, did I? Uh... Yeah. Oh, fuck. Did I... Uh, did, did I, uh... Did I say... Yeah. Oh, fuck. I'm such an idiot. My head sinks back into the pillow. Oh, oh God. Oh, fuck. A snort escapes from Fang's beak. You're such a fucking dweeb. <laughs> oh, oh lord. Her fingers brush lightly across the largest bruise on my chest without ointment. Oh dear. You mutter from time to time. I didn't start noticing till our uh, date. I groan aloud. So the entire time, yeah, it's uh, kind of cute actually. You being such an idiot. <laughs> After Jesus saw his cross of rock, so for months now, I've known and uh, Fang leans over me with her hand braced next to my head in support. I like you too. Fang's hand moves back to my chest, resting just over my machine gun beaten heart. Her head slowly descends towards mine. And before we can start trying to figure out how human dino tons tonsil hockey is played, Fang's weight begins to press down behind her hand, which is dead center of the most serious bruise on my chest. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> Oh dear. Ugh. <laughs> oh shit, sorry. Ugh. Ugh. Oh god. 
Well, that's a power couple. God damn. I managed to catch my breath. I'm okay, just... Ow! My hand wraps around fangs. Maybe, uh, something else. That won't stress these. I nod at the blemishes across my chest. Er, like, uh... A hug, maybe? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm cut off by Fang moving closer to me again. Her arm shifts, moving from my chest to my shoulder. Her wing drapes over both of us, becoming a soft and warm blanket of feathers. That looks like a really shitty controller to use, let me, um, let me tell ya. And her head lands next to mine, sinking into our new shared pillow until I'm eye to eye with her. Cuddling it is. I smile and nod. Even if Fang is now laying atop my arm and I'm starting to lose feeling on it, in it. The feel of her warm body pressed against my side is definitely worth it. And between that warmth and the plush wing blanket, my eyes grow heavy again. Oh, my lids grow heavy. Oh. <laughs> Fang's already started to snore right into my ear. Fuck it. I close my eyes and decide that sleeping with Fang is easily the best thing to happen with to me. <laughs> and there we go. Huh? <sighs>